Our evening guys. Uh, pipe week. I think everyone's enjoying it so far. <clears throat> been a bit of a negative day for me. I don't know why. So just same old, same old. Doing what I do. Um, but you know when you get in one of them, you know, bit, bit of a bit of a mood type thing. I think tiredness. I got a right nice message off uh, SoCal Piper. Because he did his daily bread and I just messaged him and fantastic reply back, which all I've wanted to do today was, is get home, get home to the missus and the family and relax. So when I did finally get home, it was it was lovely. I got changed, had half a bowl of condor just to nice, nice relaxes you that on me. It's, uh, yeah, just, just nice and relaxed. So, Ooh, I've been writing things down. Randy, SMR, he did a great shout out yesterday. He'll do do a shout out. It's a young gentleman called, and he's got a new channel called the Society of Ordinary Gentlemen. Very very professional. <laughs> it's, it's quite good. Um, I only got a few videos up at the moment but it's a really nice watch uh not many subscribers so go and check him out yeah i think you'll like it it'll definitely uh, be an asset to the ytpc and then jack's jack ryan pipes he did his live last night so i only managed to get on for about 15 minutes because i was up early this morning but nice to have a quick chat with everyone and uh Pipe smoking knife maker. He's he's on ninety seven subs. Let's get him to hundred. Which would be be very nice for him, cracking lad. Um, what I'm going to do today, this evening, and I've been wanting to do it for quite a while. It's uh, a tin opening, and I thought because it's been such a rubbish day for me at, at work. Even though my job's, I, I like my job. I work for myself, so. It's, it's all right, but I thought, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do a tin opening. And this tin opening's been sort of planned for quite a while. Um, and th this is for Dale Piper, for Sir John, more than anyone. Because when I bought this tobacco, I bought it in Norfolk. And he said, let me know what you think. And... He's done a review on it and he doesn't say a word on it, so I'm, I'm, I'm reckoning he really, he's really enjoying it. So, we're going to do... Cover that horrible thing up. Sam Gowitz. Black Forest. Won't be a review, because I'm not very good at reviewing, I don't think, but it'll be a first impression, see if I like it. And we're going to be smoking it in the Sherlock Holmes Deer Stalker Peterson. Peterson. So people need it for the bingo. Peterson. So do a bit of a crack. Yeah. No, that's them square tins, isn't it? They're not quite as good as the round ones. It's supposed to be sealed, but... Oh, lovely on the inside. Horrible sticker on the, on the front, but... Lovely on the inside. Very nice. Now, smokingpipes.com So Samuel Gowith, Black Forest, rich black Cavendish tobaccos blended with bright Virginia, creates a smooth smoke with a subtle honey flavouring. So black Cavendish in Virginia. Mild in strength, medium flavouring, mild to medium taste, pleasant room now. Gets a 2.9. Keep that, 
stick you up there with me on this. Mm -hmm. Smells very grassy. Or very grassy in there. I don't really detect much else at the moment, so. That's what I'll do. I'll get it sorted. I'll be back in a minute. Right, then we're back. Um, seeing him again, aren't I? So the tobacco in the tin, I mean, there were no. When we opened it, wasn't there? It's. Really, really. Dry. So we'll see how it smells. That was a great tip from Pipe Ninja the other I think it was yesterday. About the check check the tools and the end of that because they're just cut. So thank you for that cliff. Uh, gave mine a good rounding down. Get the Virginias, that citrusy. It's not blowing me away, is it? taste any topping. It's been car drivers today that have been a pain. Nobody indicates. Ugh, nobody indicates. Well, like, people indicate, but it's them that don't, that annoy you. And it's rained all day. Rained. Oh, rained all day. Beautiful now. Cool. Well, John, I'm uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm I'm a bit disappointed. So, people might, if you put some comments, might be a bad tin. That's really dry. I'm gonna just jar it up, I think, and leave it for months and months. 
Yeah. I'm a little disappointed. I was looking for another like, honey topping type thing, but. I know it's only my first bowl. It might come. <clears throat> we'll smoke it till we like it. As Big Phil's granddad used to say. Do it till you like it. I have got a plan in place to blend my own. So I know what I like, so I'm gonna have a good blending me on. So I'll let you know how that goes. I don't know when it'll be. Get these ideas in my head. Well, we've got a project going at the moment. The benches are right, mess, but I'm busy. I'm putting together a video of. Uh, pipe shelf rack that I'm building. So I'll put all that together. It's not a very exciting video today. Just checking in really. And I wanted to do this for Dale Piper but I've watched some other reviews and they've said it's like really nice. So we shall continue this bowl. But I don't think I'll be rushing out to get any more. And I'll stick that in a jar and see what happens in a bit of time. If you haven't got any thoughts on the tin being really dry. Mm. Let me know. Give me your thoughts. And Dale Piper, Sir John, if you can just drop us a thing and give me your thoughts as well get some expert advice on it right guys that's it that's me checking bit of a poor tin opening bit of a poor tasting Keep playing bingo, Peterson. Have a great evening. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to get my tea. And I'm going to get an early night. So, cheers, guys. Take care. See you soon.